Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today I want to talk about how to do a photo shoot with models in a foreign country. So recently I've been to the US and I wanted to do a photo shoot to broaden my portfolio. It's always amazing to work with different people in foreign countries with all their different backgrounds and different cultures. It's kind of expands your horizon, so that's why I thought it's a good idea to do a photo shoot there. So there are a couple of steps you have to consider before doing a photo shoot in a foreign country. Now this video is just a recommendation. For me this worked pretty good but you can do it totally different or if you have some other tips please share it in the comment section below. First thing is you need to know what kind of photo shoot you're doing. Are you going to do a beach shoot? Are you going to do a fashion shoot? Are you going to do a wedding style shoot or an editorial or whatsoever? In my case I decided I wanted to do a beach shoot and also a fashion lifestyle kind of shoot. So you know what you want to shoot? Good. Now go and create different mood boards of styles you want to accomplish. Even if you mostly work without a mood board, a mood board is still pretty important because the model or the agency who are you going to work with will know what kind of styles you want to achieve. So you got your shoots, you got your styles, good. So next step is location. Just Google your location where you're going to be, do a little bit of research, look at Instagram, what cool locations are in your area. And when you get there, just do a little bit of location scouting and you're good to go. You've got your kind of shoot, your styles and your location. Now it's the right time to find your model. So these steps before are pretty important because it will look way more professional when you have a plan what are you going to do when you contact models or an agency. So there are different forms of finding the right model. For example, you can work with an agency. This brings the benefit that they already have a lot of faces in their portfolio and so you don't have to waste hours for searching for the right phase and this can help you pretty good. I worked with an agency and it saved me a ton of time. It's easy to find agencies via Google, just type like location and model agency and you get tons of results which you can choose from. So next step is um, set up an email, let them know who you are, what you're doing, what you want to achieve, what kind of faces you're looking for and send them the email. Also, it's important that you write if this is going to be a commercial shoot or if this is going to be a test shoot. You can also let them know what kind of model you're searching for. Just like go through the portfolio and maybe you already find some faces which will fit your style to your shoot setting you want to do. Send the mails to a couple of agencies and wait for a response. When the response comes, they usually um, send you a list with a couple of models who are going to be available for your time and for your shoot. and then you're good to go and create some beautiful photos. You can also use Instagram and other social media to find the right faces. Check hashtags, check location tags to find the right models for your shoot and in the area you're going. Once you've found them, send them a direct message and let them know what are you going to do, who you are and it's like basically the same thing you are going to write the agency, just send it to the models too. Because it's way better to write like a detailed plan of the shoot, what are you going to do then like just hey wanna shoot so that kind of sucks and maybe this will work for like pro photographers who have like 200k of reach or something but like small instagrammers like me with just a couple of hundred followers or so it's better to be professional and to work with like all those kinds of steps to make a good first impression. You can also do this process um, to hit up photographers in the area. Maybe they can give you tips and maybe they can share some locations and or send you some models you can work with. If everything went well, now you're in contact with, with the right model. Um, if you really wanna go for the next step, you can also search for a stylist or for a makeup artist, um, which adds a lot of value to your shoot. Good planning are already 33% for the whole shoot setup. Because without a plan, a lot can go wrong. Don't forget to have a plan B, just in case it starts raining or the location doesn't work, so you don't have to cancel your shoot. Just consider a couple of things which can go wrong and maybe to have some backup plan, which is always a good idea. You organized everything and you're good to go for your shoot and Hopefully this video was helpful for a couple of you and if you like what you've seen please subscribe or like hit the follow button on Instagram at Chris Perkles. and if you have any questions or like any things I, or any tips which I didn't mention or I forgot please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you!